Good evening. Uh, I've lived in Upland for over 27 years and began being actively involved in 1999 when I was appointed by Mayor Nolan to serve on the Citizens Budget Oversight Committee. I served the Upland residents when I was elected as a city council member at large from 2012 to 2016 and was also Mayor Pro Tem. I was endorsed by the Daily Bulletin in 2012 because of my demonstrated understanding of public finance. Like you, I want my city to succeed, and I want to help you make our city a better place to live and work. During my four years on council, I worked with staff and city council members to bring transparency and financial stability to the city. In 2014, as chairman of the Finance and Economic Development Committee, the city finance manager came to me to help initiate the approval of new financial software to integrate all departmental budgeting and also software to perform five-year budget analysis. Council approved the software purchases. I also participated in the review and approval of various residential and commercial development projects. Additionally, I participated in the contract negotiations and approved increasing compensation for all city employee collective bargaining units in 2016. I am proud to have voted to approve with other council members the Veterans Memorial Plaza. I want to use my past council experience, my management experience working for a $10 billion global manufacturer, and my master's degree in business administration to help this city council to succeed in dealing with the myriad of issues that you will be confronted with, and I have an open mind to listening to all sides of the issues. The city is a $130 million nonprofit service provider business, and I have the needed experience and know how it operates. The most important issues I see are long term financial stability, public safety, homeless, and water. Long term financial stability of the city is essential in that it provides the needed police, public works, and administrative services residents demand and rely on. Public safety, streets, trees, and parks can be maintained or improved only through financial stability. I have participated in reviewing and approving the annual city budgets and understand the details of revenues and expenditures. While on council, I reviewed and approved with other council members some of the recommendations of the Citizens Financial Review Task Force. I have also reviewed with the outside auditor the comprehensive annual financial reports to help me better understand the financials of the city. You should be receiving this report in January and you will be also receive the mid-year budget review in February. Public safety and homelessness are linked and many police calls our response to homeless or transient issues. While on council, I participated and supported in conjunction with the police department many of the actions taken to help alleviate these issues. In 2014, Chief Mendenhall requested additional patrol officers and police technicians. As chairman of the Finance Committee, I worked with staff to fund these much needed positions within the existing city budget. I believe the city needs to help those individuals who want help and find them the needed local or county services. <clears throat> Alcohol, drug addiction, and mental health issues are the predominant problems of homelessness and transients in my experience working with the Bridges to Home Homeless Ministry at my church. I believe the city needs to continually review, potentially adopt the best demonstrated practice to get those help that need it. Water is our most report resource. The city is fortunate to own water rights and maintain a water department in its own. It owns a majority share in the San Antonio Water Company and the West End Company. I was a member of the board of directors of both. Providing water to our residents and commercial business is essential. The city must ensure it has adequate supplies and look for opportunities to possibly reactivate wells. Water capture and percolation are key components to ensuring water supplies. The city has access to more expensive water and needs to continually review its use and availability. In 2013, I supported the basic increase before it against water increases because I believe the two-tier rate was unfair to residents. I believe the rates increased in 2018 need to be reevaluated. I want to use my experience to help our city and you to succeed. 
I want to thank City Council Member for considering my application. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Bozar.